Hi Leo, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. I'm here to do your November 2017 general reading. I have pre-shuffled these decks for you. This may or may not resonate as it's for hundreds and thousands of people. I'm only going to shuffle for a moment. This is for the month of November 2017 for the sign of Leo. What do you have for the sign of Leo? Mm -hmm. Look at that, the basis of your reading. Beautiful. Wow. Oh my goodness. Woo! Looks really good, Leo. It does, it does. I love good news. Wow. It was tuned in pretty good too, huh? Okay. So, the basis of your reading is the two cups. All right, that is a deep connection to another. This is the month of November 2017. It could lead to, you know, a marriage. If you're with somebody right now, okay, the person you're with could definitely lead to marriage, all right? We have this Ten of Cups right here in the Hierophant, and that, I mean, it's in the world, I mean, this whole lineup is beautiful, okay? I think that many of you are starting a new chapter, a brand new chapter in your life. Perhaps one new, one old phase has ended and a new one is about to begin. You can begin, you can focus on your success because it looks like this is wonderful. I think there's a lot of love here this month. There's probably a, even a soulmate connection for many of you. There is a lot of happiness. Um, there is, uh, there's happiness, okay? There's happiness, but of course there's a but. Did you think there wasn't gonna be one? But there's mental anguish, okay? You're with somebody and you feel the love, but you still have issues, okay? You still have trust issues, okay? You still feel like you're worried about something, like, what if it doesn't grow? Are, is there still room for growth here? I think a lot of you are worried about that. I think that you're feeling like um, yeah, you're worried about growth. You're worried about what, what's next. What's going to happen next? You know, when you're building a new foundation with somebody, you need to start at the bottom. So you can't expect you you can't ha expect to have it all right at the very beginning, okay? So I'm telling you this because I see that many of you are expecting this to to grow quickly. You know, you're and you're expecting more things to happen faster than they are. The thing is with foundations, you know, it take the foundations in relationships get built over time. Okay, so I think that, you know, you have these expectations that are high and you're looking for things to happen quicker. Things are going to happen, but you need to let go of the worry. Okay, I see that a lot of you are very worried. You're looking for things to happen faster than they should. All right, things are happening for you. I think that the, you guys have, are really seriously ending one phase and beginning a new one, and it is going to be beautiful, and it is with another person, okay? If you are already connected to somebody, committed to somebody, it could, um, the relationship could go up another level, okay? If you are single, you could meet somebody this month. 
we do have Leo here and Aries and Sagittarius we have Taurus we have Pisces Cancer Scorpio um, and we have a lot of happiness but this happiness comes after some work so it's not like you don't have to put in effort so you do have to put in effort for this happiness okay to build the foundation okay um, try not to be too obsessive okay this is obsessive okay so if any of you are feeling obsessive and you're gonna have to let that go okay you're it looks like um, you're really gonna have to listen to your inner guide and follow your inner guide and trust trust okay trust your um, just putting all these cards together together you need to trust the universe okay you need to trust your higher power above okay that's what I see uh, there's like a um, I see that you're seeking guidance okay you're seeking guidance you need to trust what you're hearing all right I think that there's a lot of conflict here okay or contradiction okay there's contradiction so you you feel this love for somebody many of you do but then you have this worry okay so it's the love then it's the worry it's the love and the worry and it's it is definitely an obsession it definitely is an obsession this is an obsession um probably with another person maybe you're obsessed with another person or another person is obsessed with you but i think that you're taking it too far or somebody's taking the obsession too far um, there's a lot of happiness to be had a lot I think that you need to just let it go with the flow let things happen put in the effort okay put in the effort to let things go all right if that makes any sense which it does to let things go in your head you have to release them okay there's a lot of there is this is a negative thought this is a negative thought all right so you guys are are feeling some negative thoughts that are causing you depression and causing you worry that are needless okay it's it's like it's an illusion all right there's some kind of illusion going on And I see that you need to look at something from another perspective completely. And whatever you need to look at from another perspective has to do with thoughts in your head. You need to change the thoughts in your head and look at something from another perspective. And it has to, and the thing is, is the answers are inside of you. I see that the answers are inside or above, okay? There's like divine guidance here, okay? So you have this divine guidance but you need to listen to it okay you need to be open to hearing it there's definitely um happiness to be had should you choose to listen all right it could this whoever you're on you're thinking about as i'm giving you this reading who you are probably connected to very deeply i mean if you're not married to them yet there this could involve a marriage you know in the future Either way, one phase of your life is ending, and I think it's one phase of despair, okay? I think it's where you've been feeling stuck. I think you, in the past you felt stuck and you felt trapped, and now this love is here, and you're just like, you just don't trust. You just don't trust it. But I think that this love can bring you a lot of happiness, okay? So perhaps, I mean, maybe you need to seek counseling, okay? That hair font is here for a, re a reason. Maybe you're seeking spiritual counseling or counseling from your neighborhood or counseling from within, okay? So you really need to um, dig deep, okay? And listen, listen, listen to your inner guides. Listen to your guides above, 
I think that they're trying to tell you something, and I think that you have to let go of some mental anguish. Um, because this is love. There is a soul connection here between you and another person. I'm going to go over the signs. We have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and Aries, Leo, Sagittarius here. All right? And there is room for growth. But you, if you halt the growth with your worry, then it's going to grow slower. You build a foundation based on trust. Okay? And I see that you guys are in the middle of building a foundation. Okay? And we have a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio at the bottom of this deck, just so you know. Because I've mentioned it several times and you might not have seen it, but I did. Remember, the basis of your reading is the Two of Cups. It's a partnership. It's a union. Okay? It's love that leads to a new beginning with somebody that you are deeply connected to. The fact of the matter is, is that you need to forgive. You need to forgive whoever it is that has caused this hurt and caused you to not trust, okay? And has caused you to not be able to give your heart so freely you need to forgive them perhaps you've been rejected perhaps you have regrets all right and it is absolutely holding you back from this love connection you're not able to give your all to this love see this you're not able to give your this nine of swords in the four of cups you're not all you're not able to give all your all to this love because you're you're resisting it you're resisting it based on past hurt so if this person is not in your life yet this is telling me that you need to forgive so that this person can come in it's about doing the right thing for you that is your justice okay when you do the right thing for you it's when you make a decision and you let go of a heavy weight that has been holding you down and do you know what that heavy weight is this nine of swords right here the despair the anguish the inability to trust And believe in yourself. You have to believe in yourself. It's kind of like self-confidence at the same, same time as trust. Okay? The Wheel of Fortune's here with the world. So that's great. That tells me that you are definitely starting a new chapter. Okay? When the Wheel of Fortune comes out, good luck is on its way. It's a change of course. Finally. I think many of you have gone through a long period of time where you felt like you were trapped and you, this was never going to happen. And I think that you're going to be trapped until you release the thoughts in your head that you're not good enough or that this is going to happen again or nobody's going to be true to me. Those are thoughts in your head. And it's time for you to take control of those thoughts and let them go so that you can offer love and accept love it's about forgiveness and letting go of that heavy weight and bringing the peace and harmony back to your life it's a change of course for you a complete change of course you're gonna have to trust it's all about trusting this reading is trusting this other person who is your perfect mate.
at this time. Trust in divine timing. Trust in the universe. Trust yourself. Trust the other person. This is about trust. This reading is about, I know it is because it keeps coming out of my mouth. This reading for November is about trust. I see true love here. But I see you, your, your negative thoughts are not letting you accept it. Okay, there is definitely happiness to be had. You, there could be talks of a marriage. Maybe even around summertime. We have the sun here and the sun here. Okay, just saying. I think it is time for you to take back control of your head of the thoughts in your head. Bring the stability back. For many of you, um, this justice card is about integrity, honesty, doing the right thing. When you do that, and it's doing the right thing for you, by the way, when you trust and you let go and you forgive, this is forgiveness right here, forgive the people that have hurt you in the past so that you can actually give your heart to somebody else freely then you're doing the right thing for yourself. You're following your own path, not letting anybody hold, your ba hold you back. And that's when the wheel turns in your favor. And it brings so much happiness. And it brings peace and control and organization and a new life to you. This soul connection is strong in November. If, you, if you're not, if you haven't met this person yet, you could certainly meet them. It could be a Libra. Like I already said, I already told you the signs. Libra, um, Gemini, Aquarius, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Taurus, Capricorn. Could be any of them. You got them all. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, or Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It really could be any. Um, yeah. you're stuck on the past on a past hurt you must let it go it's just reiterating what I said you're obsessed with this past betrayal it's time to forgive it and let new love love you again this is the sign of Aries but this is also this is also the somebody in authority this is a boss a father um, or somebody that is very much a leader in some way so everybody he's very wise very wise he's learned a lot he's also a family man okay this is somebody who can take very good care of you But you gotta let something go. There's that ten of wands, son of a gun. You absolutely need to let go of the past, of a past relationship, or several. Whatever has caused you not to trust, you need to let go of. You can't be obsessed with that anymore. It's time to act and let go of it. Okay? You need to take a very practical approach. You need to be practical, all right? Um, you might have to step outside of your comfort zone, all right? Because I see that you're comfortable. You're comfortable. 
you're comfortable with believing that you're not good enough. But you're going to have to lose that thought because you are good enough. All right? You're worth it. You are worth it. It's time to take action. It absolutely is. We have all these nights here. This is action. Get moving. Let it go. Do it now. Do it now. Don't waste another minute worrying about what could happen. Don't waste another minute worrying. Move forward in faith and trust. I see a very uh, deep connection, partnership between you and another, and it is hindered by trust. And it's time to go with the flow and trust. Trust the other person, trust the universe, trust your inner guide, trust yourself. Let go of the negative thoughts. I'm going to get you one of these cards. This is the Angel Doreen Virtual Virtue Angel Guidance, Daily Angel Guidance cards. Whew. So for the month of November, this is a month where you have the opportunity to fall in love deeply. Should you choose to go with the flow and let go of the need to control anything. Go with the flow and trust. Trust. Oh, son of a gun. Look what just came out. I love you guys. I love my God, angel, spirits, and universe. I hope you do too because they do this for me all the time. Apparently they're doing it for you too. Holy moly. Not going to swear. Son of a gun. Is that your card or what? <laughs> Amazing. Let your past go. The burden of carting your past around has made you weary. <laughs> I love you guys. I do, I do, I do. Oh, the burden of carting your past around has made you weary, dear one. It's time to set the burden down. There's your burden. Keep only the lessons and the love and leave everything else behind. You don't want it or need it. And it's now gone. Oh, oh, that is deep. I don't know if you can see it. It's your card. You can't see it because of the damn camera. But I just read it to you. Let your past go. The whole reading pretty much told you that. That was, I love it. I love it. It was amazing. Talk to you later.